Hello to all. My name is John Porter. Uh, I've been in the steel industry for uh, the past uh, 30 years plus. So what I've been working on in the uh, last few months is uh, building a tool set in Bluebeam, which is going to be specifically made for uh, structural steel takeoffs there. So I'm going to get going and show you guys a quick demo on uh, what uh, my tool set is uh, capable of doing. So like any takeoff, the first thing would be to uh, confirm our scales. So I'm just going to take a few quick measurements and verify that uh, it's all matching up. Uh, right now, I just need to change the setting here. And here we go. So now the setting should be all good. I'm going to check in both directions just to make sure that uh, it's accurate in the X and Y direction. So everything seems to be good. So I'm going to get started. Uh, my habit is always to start with a section of building, which is uh, symmetrical on each side of the building. So it makes my takeoff a lot easier. So I'm just going to pull up my tools. So my toolbox and here the way I have it uh, divided is um, it's by beam profile or size. And same thing, I have a tool set for my HSS and channels and all the other profiles. So let's start with uh, the easy stuff, some uh, 360 at 33. So the only thing I need to do is click on 360 at 33 and get going. So I click two points and that as I'm clicking on the unit, it's you're going to start seeing it down in the material list below there. So I'm going to do all of my 360 at 60, uh, 360 at 33 in this uh, this area of the building. So normally my outside walls on each side of the building, uh, you'll find similar sizes over the two sides there. So here we go. And as you see again, it's all adding up to uh, my markup list down below. Uh, so here this is done. I'll get some 410 at uh, 39s. Uh, 410s at 39. And here we go. So we get going. And you'll also notice the uh, color of each beams or each category. Uh, it's based on the CISC. Uh, weight by class so each class they have their own color so this is going to give you a heads up and you'll see exactly what's uh so 410 at 39 so 410 at 39 So you guys are getting the uh, picture. So let's grab a few girder beams inside the uh, footprint. So these are 460 at 52. So and you'll notice that it's a, the same color. So that means it's still part of the uh, same grouping in uh, base per CISC there. And again, down below in the markup list, it's it's all adding up there. Let's take some uh, different sizes where the color is going to be different. So let's get some 610 at 82. So 610, 82 right here. So that's a heavier category. So this is why it's now in green. Oh, uh, and here we go. And if I need to do a correction, what I can do is pick the pointer, just get all of these pieces and take them out. So I'm able to redo it. And just for uh, sampling, we're going to get some infill beams. Uh, and I'll show you a quick way of doing them or taking them off. So we're looking for 200 at 27. So here's one, and after that, these are all the same. So there's different ways of doing it. 
So my way is to go back in my recent tools, grab the last one I did, and after that just keep on clicking. So you'll notice below again, each of each time I click to take off one assembly, uh, it's being added down below to my table there. All right. So this is a quick sample. So let's try something else. Let's take off some uh, perimeter plates. So pretty easy. So I'm going to get my bend plates from down below. Say we have a 10 millimeter plate around my the edge of that section I'm doing. I just need to click on it and go crazy. Once I apply the plate where required, I just double click. Uh, on my last node and again it's showing up under a different color in my material list down below there uh, for fun let's do some cambers so cambers it's a different way of taking it taking it off there so what I do is I use my search engine with uh, so here I have some 12 millimeter cambers so I'm gonna say 12 and I'm gonna do a search on it and after that I'm gonna click on this button where it checks off everywhere where I have some cambers uh, and then I'm gonna apply a count and here we said cambers so I'm gonna say cambers and boom, here we go. Here's the uh, cambers with the uh, slope square. Uh, so again, we have a count of eight. And what's nice about this, I'm able to go in there and specify to the uh, system what's the camber height. So I'll say 10, it's close enough. Uh, I got some 15, so I'm going to take off the cambers, which are 15 mil do a search and again I'm gonna check mark every boxes and I'm gonna apply my count for the 15 mil cambers so cambers here we go so here's the takeoff line and this line is a 15 mil camber so this is all done next one we'll try the uh, we're gonna do shear studs which everybody it's a part that everybody likes to do counting shear studs so here i have some uh, n uh, equal 10 so what i'll do is i'll put a filter on it and click on my search here's the listing for all my uh, 10 counts so again i'm going to apply a count measurement and these are shear stud three quarter inch and here you go so there's 12 locations with 12 so that's for a total of 144. Uh, we saw some uh, give me a second so we got some n12 so I'm going to punch in key in N12. So here's a listing of all the N12s. So I'm going to apply again my count for three quarter inch shear studs. And we said this is based on 12 studs. So we got, uh, yeah, so we got 180 here. So this is how we take off uh, shear studs with, uh, with my tool there. So I think it's a, a quick demo. Uh, for some of you guys, the issue is not uh, being capable of setting up Bluebeam there. It's only a matter of time where we all know that when it gets busy, nobody has time to, to set this up there. So this is what I'm offering. Uh, you guys could start with a base package. And after that, if you need to get somebody to customize it, well, I would all be offering my services to do that for you guys there. So uh, that would save you time there. Anyways, if you do have any questions, please feel free to call me or reach me by email and uh, we could further discuss. Thank you again and have a nice day.